Hey, what's up? Lightbolt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the brand new Netflix original film, Don't Look Up. This stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Meryl Streep, Kate Blanchett, Rob Morgan, Jonah Hill, Mark Rylance, Tyler Perry, Timothy Chalamet, Ron per Perlman, I can never say his name, Ariana Grande, Scott Mascuti, uh, Himesh Patel, and so many more people. So this is social commentary. This is a dark humor Films specifically made for the Oscar season coming up in 2022. This has had numerous nominations for other award shows so far. You have an Academy Award winning group of people um, from all different walks of life and from all different histories of film and television. So it's uh, it was it, this film was specifically made for Oscar season. No getting around that. And it's straight satire of the political and scientific climate we all currently live in during an apocalypse. So. Don't Look Up. This film is about Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, Jennifer Lawrence, doctor and grad student, earning her PhD. She had discovered a new comet that is in approach of crashing into Earth and destroying everything. So it's a matter of bringing this information to the president, Meryl Streep, and how to either prepare the planet for eminent destruction in six months and and four weeks or something like that or um can we break it up can we can we break it up so it doesn't you know be as truly cataclysmic as it you know is predicted to be as the scientific proof is so it's a matter of capitalism capitalism versus socialism it's a matter of religion religion versus politics it's it's a matter of um logic versus illogic and don't look up how dare you believe the scientists or look up, just look up. So having Ariana Grande play this pop singer who is therefore advocating to look up, you know, screw the manatees, you know, we need to fix this so we can actually live on this planet. It was very interesting, very interesting. Timothy Chalamet and then uh, Jennifer Lawrence as a couple at the end, I thought that was cute, despite the apocalypse that happened. So one of my favorite current memes because of the COVID-19 pandemic that started in 2020 um, I was there. I was in Los Angeles when everything was shutting down. We were, my family and I were terrified of figure, trying to figure out how the hell to get home because we live on the East Coast. We live in New York and we were in Los Angeles on the West Coast. So how the hell do you get from coast to coast during a pandemic as everything is shutting down? We were at Disneyland March, Friday, March 13th, 2020. And the park closed Friday, uh, Saturday, March 14th, 2020. And then everything else started to close. And it was, it was scary. It was, it was the scary beginning of an apocalypse. And Somehow now, almost two years later, we are in this Pi Venn diagram, and I've seen this meme a thousand times. One side says apocalypse, and the other side says go to work. And the, the meme is that there's an arrow where the, vent, that where the pie graph meet in the middle, and that somehow we landed here. How do we still have to go to work during an apocalypse? Why aren't people listening to scientists? So it's very interesting. This film is very interesting because it's complete satire on the whole thing of just trust the science. Like it's peer reviewed, it's fact checked, it's peer reviewed, like it's science. You, you can't just listen to a politician who does, doesn't have a scientific background, um, just spewing absolute garbage for political points when there's actual stuff going on. So it's, uh, it's interesting, it's very interesting. I, I will say that, it's, it's very interesting. Um, I didn't like the first half to be completely honest. Um, I was very, I don't like how how do I explain it? You know, you watch a film or, or a TV show or a book or something like that to to get away from reality, to get away away from the norm, and like for it to actually be a part of. You're looking at real life, but instead of a virus that's killing the population, which is what we're dealing with, we're, we're looking at a giant comet called Dobletsky. You know, that's about to destroy the whole entire world. So it's it's interesting. I I, I didn't like the first half just because like. I don't like to watch movies that show realism in that sense of we're actually dealing with this. So you watch something to escape kind of a thing. Um, but then the, the second half when everybody dies and then there's the fast forward of the future for those rich folk who escaped on the ship to then get eaten by these giant birds. Um, hysterical and poignant and perfect. Um, just because you think you made it out, just because you think you, you cheat the system doesn't mean you actually survive at the end. I liked it. I really liked the ending. I thought that was very smart. It was a great job that everybody did. Everybody did very well with each other. Nick and, and Jen together was was really cool, strong dynamic duo. So, yeah, it's gonna be interesting seeing what happens with the uh, with the award season. And yeah, on to the next one. Uchimalo.